Today, our focus shifts to South Asheville, a vibrant region that houses several key attractions, including one you may have heard about called the Biltmore Estate, and one you probably haven't called the Asheville Outlets. And then there's the North Carolina Arboretum as well. In addition to these highlights, the area has popular neighborhoods like Avery's Creek and Royal Pines and Biltmore Park. Hendersonville Road acts as a bustling main street, teeming with various commercial developments, so let's delve deeper into the advantages and the disadvantages of this lively and thriving part of Asheville. Hi, I'm Beth Shadler, and we are Living in Asheville, where we explore what it's like to live, eat, sleep, work, play in Asheville, North Carolina, and the surrounding mountain towns. I'm a realtor here, and it's my absolute passion and pleasure to help people move to the area. We get calls and texts and emails every single day from people who are just looking to move to the Asheville area. So if that's you, whether it's nine days or 90 days from now, and whether you're moving across the country or just across town, we'll be sure to help you create your personalized moving plan that suits your needs. Today, we will do a deep dive into South Asheville. So be sure to stay until the very end of the video where I will reveal my personal South Asheville favorite tip. And if you'd like to learn more about other aspects of Asheville, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so that you'll be alerted every time we make a new video for you. So South Asheville is a popular residential area with all kinds of amenities that you will love for convenient living. The area has recently seen some development along I-26 and Brevard Road, Hendersonville Highway, making it a really easy place to eat and shop and play for residents, residents and visitors alike. So let's dive into the pros and cons of living in South Asheville. As always, let's kind of bust through those cons first and get them out of the way so we can highlight some issues that may make living in the southern area of Asheville omitted from your list when considering your move. Number one, traffic congestion on I-26 and Hendersonville Road is one of the major downsides of living in South Asheville. And it's a recurring problem uh, on these major roadways. Um, as the Southern part experiences substantial population growth and increasing economic activity, residents often find themselves stuck in traffic during those peak hours and can be a little frustrated. But remember, it's all perspective and maybe you're coming from an area that it has more congestion and more traffic. Plus the lack of public transportation options in the US in general General exasperates that issue, forcing most people to rely on private vehicles rather than uh, public transportation. So that just kind of contributes to the problem. So we, as the good old USA, may want to take a hint from Europe at some point and get some safe, reliable, and easily accessible transportation options for every place that's considered a city at least. Until then, we drive. Number two, the absence of the quintessential Asheville vibe. While South Asheville offers its own set of attractions and amenities, some residents may feel like it lacks the distinct bohemian and artistic atmosphere that characterizes the heart of downtown Asheville or the other parts of Asheville. The downtown area and surrounding neighborhoods are known for their vibrant art scene and eclectic boutiques and unique dining experiences. Although South Asheville has its own charm, those seeking that Asheville feel may find it a little bit more prevalent in northern parts of the city or west side or a little bit of the east side. South Asheville is a little bit more planned. Some may say cookie cutter, but there's a lot of newer builds in the area and it's one of the first regions of Asheville to really start expanding. So you can often find bigger, newer homes for less money and larger pieces of land as well. Number three, noise disturbances from the airport. South Asheville is home to the Asheville Asheville Regional Airport, which is awesome because it serves the gateway uh, to the region. You know, it's so easy to get here from other places. So while the airport's pretty convenient for travelers, it can also result in a little bit of noise for residents living nearby. So there's frequent takeoffs and landings, especially during the early mornings and the evenings that can kind of disrupt your outside living time. Most of the time you're not going to hear it inside, but it depends, of course. Although the airport's right near many larger really nice neighborhoods like Biltmore Park have been built like pretty close. So it must not be terribly intrusive. At least that's what I've heard from residents who live there. Number four, the suburban or character of most neighborhoods. 
And we kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but we're gonna dive back in. Unlike the more urban and eclectic neighborhoods found in central Asheville, many of the areas in the southern part of the city have a distinctly suburban feel. And while this may be appealing to some individuals, seeking a more quieter and laid back lifestyle, others may miss the urban amenities and cultural diversity offered by central Asheville. There's limited walkability and there's a strong dependence on cars like we talked about. So it can be a downside for those that are accustomed to more pedestrian friendly environments. Number five, coping with ongoing growing pains. As South Asheville experience, experiences the continuous growth, it faces challenges associated with managing this expansion effectively. So rapid development can strain existing infrastructure and some residents worry that the roads and public services may struggle to even keep up with the increasing demands. Urban sprawl and the potential loss of green spaces may raise concerns as well about maintaining this region's natural beauty and the high quality of life for its residents. Whew, okay, that's done. Those are the cons, can't think of any others. So on to the fun stuff, the pros. Number one, the neighborhoods. There are lots of great neighborhoods like Bent Creek, Avery's Creek, Royal Pines, Biltmore Park that offer all kinds of housing possibilities for almost every budget, whether you wanna renovate or have it turnkey, move in ready. Biltmore Park was designed to offer an urban feel with their shops and a movie theater and great restaurants, usually within walking distance and a pool and easy access to all those amenities with a suburban setting right off to the side. There's even an REI right there, which is kind of fun. Whereas other areas might feel um, more in the country and rural and spacious. However, whatever you're looking for, whether you're looking like for a condo or a single family home or a 55 plus retirement community, or maybe even a mansion on the top of the hill, South Asheville has has it. They have tons of choices. So it will mi most likely deliver what you're looking for. Number two, recreational facilities. South Asheville has the North Carolina Arboretum, and this is a botanical garden with a balanced mix of well-kept gardens and natural landscapes and forests. There are tons of well-kept tr accessible trails as well. So if you bring your kids along, they'll get a kick out of the Rocky Cove Railroad uh, model train that they have there and the bonsai exhibition. There's also a bistro on site and the Arboretum holds different events all throughout the year. So one of the most popular one being the winter lights display with over a million lights, really coolly arranged. Kind of trippy too, it's fun. Check out our video from last year's exhibition right here. 10 minutes it's southeast of the Arboretum, we find Lake Julian Park. This is a great park that is considered by many of the locals in Asheville to have one of the best playgrounds as well. The modern playground and the amount of picnic tables make it a perfect place for families to spend an afternoon. Plus, there's easy access to the lake. You could bring your own stand-up paddleboard or rent a, rent a paddle boat and you are ready to go out on the lake. Now, you can't swim it in it though. I think that's one of the rules there right now. But you can totally go paddle and hang out, take a break at the Wild Wing Cafe nearby, or just enjoy the shores. Uh, there's the Asheville Rowing Club that's right there and a disc golf course. The only thing that some might consider as a con to Lake Julian is the Duke Power Plant that kind of serves as the lake's backdrop. But the lake wouldn't be there if it wasn't for that plant and it serves as a distinct industrial nature vibe. And what's really cool is in the winter, um, when you go to Lake Julian, you can kind of see the mist rising off the lake and it's this mystical uh, ambiance that ha that you have there that you can't find other places because the water's warm from the plant. If you've watched our videos before, you know that we love the Blue Ridge Parkway. And yes, you can easily hop on the Blue Ridge Parkway in South Asheville. Take it to, take it to the Northeast through East Asheville towards Mount Mitchell and Craggy Gardens or Southwest to the North Carolina Arboretum or Pisgah Inn, both directions lead to stunning mountain views and wonderful hikes. And yes, South Asheville has them to their breweries. Sierra Nevada Brewing Company took it to the next level in Mills River, completed in 2015. The facility is truly state-of-the-art with a, a really strong effort towards environmental uh, sustainability, and it's located right next to the airport and has this amazing tap room and restaurant and outdoor and indoor concert areas, including gardens and a nature trail. The Mills River Brewing Company is another one that offers a more 
laid back uh, atmosphere. Burning Blush Brewery is another one down there in Mills River, established in 2019. It greets guests with a Victorian era inspired Gothic tap room. And it has a selection of rotating food trucks that goes there, go there as well. And of course, best is always subjective and we would love to know your favorite breweries down south. So let, let us know down there in the comments. The southern location of the Racket Club is also primo, featuring indoor outdoor tennis, a fitness center, uh, an Olympic sized pool, indoor soft surface uh, jogging track, a yoga studio, racquetball court, brand new pickleball courts, and a dry sauna. Whew, that's a lot of stuff. So even if you don't live in a community that has an HOA and a community center and all those amenities right there, you could always be a part of the racket club just down the road. And some of their locations even have childcare as well and it's quite affordable. Another highlight for families is the Jake Rusher Park. It's tucked away in this neighborhood and it feels really secluded. There's a a covered picnic area, restrooms, and lots of play areas. Our kids love to get lost in the wooden castle structure. The park is right next door to Rocky's Hot Chicken Shack. Yum. Which brings us to our next pro of South Asheville. Number three, the restaurants. With the growing popularity of Asheville as a foodie place, South Asheville has attracted quite a few top quality restaurants and eateries. And as you go through the list of restaurants, you'll notice that many of the Asheville favorites in Central Asheville have located a, have opened a second location in South Asheville. How convenient. So by doing so, they are following the growth of the city in that direction. Asheville restaurants like Nine Mile, Asheville Pizza and Brewing, or like we talked about, Rocky's Hot Chicken Shack, as well as Early Girl Eatery, Tupelo Honey, Vinny's Italian, Biscuit Head, White Duck Taco, and Green Sage all have a South location now, somewhere along the Hendersonville Road area. Whew, that's a lot to say. Number four, South Asheville's pretty dang family friendly and affordable. So it's kind of known for that and it's relatively uh, more affordable than living in other areas like Central Asheville or maybe North Asheville or West Asheville. And it's an excellent choice for those looking to settle down without breaking the bank. That said, you will also find towns and communities in South Asheville on the upper end of the spectrum. The median sales price for homes as of June 2023 varies from 410,000 in Fletcher up to 527 in Mills River, but of course there's ones that are more expensive as well. Facilities like the Trampoline Park, the Mountain Play Lodge, or the Little Gym of Asheville just leave your kids totally entertained and thrilled. Uh, and then there's a fairly new place called the Riveteer. It's a climbing gym with over 16,000 square feet of climbing terrain. There's a bike park and a yoga and fitness studio. And their mission is to provide an inclusive world-class facility for the outdoor community to come together and train and play. And it's located just by the entrance to Sierra Nevada's expansive facility that we talked about earlier in Mills River. Number five, it's close to the airport. So as we mentioned earlier, the Asheville airport can be cause for concern if you're worried about the noise or if you live right next to it, but it can also be a blessing as well. It's one of the best connected regional airports in the country with easy connections to and from hundreds of cities around the globe. There are 26 domestic flights from Asheville right now and the longest flight from Asheville is about 1100 mile non-stop route to Las Vegas. Hey! And here's your bonus tip about South Asheville. After compiling ratings and systems and maps and every bit of information possible, the southern part of Asheville has the highest rated school system in the area. When it comes to a Assessing the quality of schools, the two prominent online platforms like Great Schools and Niche consistently rank South Asheville's educational institutions among the best in the state and maybe even the country. These websites can provide valuable insights and ratings and reviews from students, parents, and educators, giving an accurate representation of the overall performance and reputation of the schools in the area. And my favorite part about South Asheville is it's a great home base for people who like to go to Hendersonville or Lake Lure or Brevard and also want easy access to Asheville. It makes getting around a place
places that you want to day trip a breeze. We get calls and texts and emails every single day from people just like you who are looking to move to the Asheville area and we absolutely love it. It's our specialty to make a personalized moving plan. So if you'd like to learn more about Asheville in general, make sure to hit that subscribe button, do it, and activate that bell so that you can be alerted every time we make a new video for you. Until then, enjoy it all and ciao for now. Oh,